Launched in 1990, Hubble has revolutionized astronomy, providing scientists with observations that significantly change our understanding of the universe. Despite the initially planned 15-year lifespan, thanks to servicing missions, it continues to offer intriguing new observations, compelling NASA to be hesitant in actually letting it go. However, recent malfunctions and predictions of its orbit deteriorating within a few years may lead to the telescope burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. But all hope is not yet lost. In fact, NASA is seeking ways to rescue the legendary space telescope, and it seems only SpaceX has the solution. Stay tuned as we dive into this episode of Alpha Tech. Since its launch, the world's premier visible light space observatory has been sending back to Earth jaw-dropping images for 32 years. It currently orbits around 322 miles or 535 kilometers above Earth, completing one orbit approximately every 95 minutes. However, the iconic space telescope is not going to last forever. Hubble's orbit is decaying, and if it degrades badly, it'll unavoidably burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Mission over. At that time, NASA had two options, except that this scenario is inevitable and someday soon, possibly as early as 2026, though more likely the end of the decade, guide Hubble to break up over the Pacific Ocean, inserting itself in the spacecraft cemetery like so much space hardware that's come before it. That may necessitate some kind of mission to dock with it in orbit and guide it back in a controlled way. Or it could send a spacecraft to dock with it and boost it farther from Earth, thus extending its life. But it seems that everything has happened earlier than expected, as recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has been experiencing continuous problems, putting its life in a state of uncertainty sooner than had been planned. Following a malfunction at the end of 2021, just recently, on November 29, 2023, NASA announced that the aging Hubble Space Telescope, HST, had entered a safe mode for an indefinite period. The reason is the emergence of some issues with the system of gyroscopes used to point the observatory and hold it steady during imaging. In all, HST has six gyroscopes, comprising three pairs, a primary and a backup, with one of each pair required for normal operations. To help increase the telescope's operational life, all three pairs of gyros were replaced in the last shuttle mission to service Hubble back in 2009 and software was uploaded to the observatory to allow it to function on two gyros, or even one should that become necessary. Today, only three of those gyros remain operational, the other three having simply worn out, and on November 19th, one of those remaining three started producing incorrect data, causing the telescope to enter a safe mode and stopping all science operations. In the days that followed, the NASA team in charge of the Low Earth Orbiting Telescope attempted to bring the gyro system back online, but without success. They were only able to get the gyro operating correctly in short order, allowing Hubble to resume operations, only for the gyro to glitch again on November 21st, then again on the 23rd, leading to the design to leave the telescope in its safe mode until the issue can be more fully assessed. It can work in a degraded manner with two and even just one gyroscope, but that's far from ideal. Generally speaking, there are between two and three breakdowns with Hubble each year, which is not surprising for a vehicle that just celebrated its 34th birthday. And as always, the debate on a potential service mission arises, with good arguments on both sides. The American agency faces two problems on the matter. The first is budget. Even if it's the richest in the world, NASA does not have the means to finance a particular mission to take care of Hubble. Worse, there were even political debates this fall to reduce the budget allocated to the telescope next year. This is the second concern. Technically, Hubble should have been inoperable for a long time already, but it has so few equivalents that it's better to continue the measurements. NASA has invested massively and now operates the James Webb Telescope, while in its clean rooms, the future Nancy Grace Roman NGR Telescope is soon complete. Even China is launching Xunqian, its Hubble, next year. That being said, faced with the countless comments each year to save Hubble or bring it back to Earth, NASA agreed last year to receive proposals for different types of service missions. On September 22nd of last year, NASA and SpaceX announced that they were exploring the possibility of using the Dragon spacecraft, the type used to transport NASA astronauts to the ISS, to visit Hubble. After, on December 22nd, NASA issued a request for other commercial space companies to participate, as long as the manufacturers and operators can assume the cost themselves. 
billionaire Jared Isaacman, who works hand-in-hand -hand with SpaceX for his small private space program Polaris, has publicly submitted a proposal. The Polaris program, a collaboration with SpaceX, was announced in 2022 and is set to conduct up to three human spaceflight missions to demonstrate new technologies. In the first mission, Polaris Dawn is targeted for no earlier than the fourth quarter of 2023, and will see the Dragon spacecraft containing four astronauts fly 870 miles above Earth, the highest since the Apollo missions to the moon. The third mission is scheduled to be the first flight of SpaceX's Starship with humans on board. At that time, Isaacman suggested that the Hubble mission could be the second mission in the planned trio of Polaris missions. Isaacman pointed out that such a mission would give Hubble a decade of extra life and provide an opportunity in the future to remove the telescope from orbit using Starship and deliver it to Earth for placement in a museum. He also raised the possibility of repairing the telescope. He's pointed out that it is possible, and modern gyroscopes and computers are no longer the size of a refrigerator. However, not all experts share Isaacman's enthusiasm for the possibility of repairing Hubble, pointing out that Crew Dragon has neither an airlock nor a manipulator arm. In addition, although the mission's funded by the billionaire's own funds, NASA will still have to spend time and resources on its preparation and support. This may become a problem because the organization is considering the possibility of reducing costs for Hubble due to current budget constraints. Despite everything, the contents have never been revealed, either by NASA or by SpaceX. The American agency ultimately received eight proposals, and the debates rage as Hubble's broken on the possibilities of missions to take care of it. In reality, on the SpaceX side, the options available are very limited. Apart from the use of Starship, which could swallow Hubble, a Dragon cargo ship or Crew Dragon capsule could dock with Hubble with a few modifications. But what next? Apart from raising its orbit, it would be very complex. The docking system would prevent astronauts from exiting, a robotic arm would be required to remove the parts from the external trunk of the capsule, etc. But it can't be said that it can't happen. With the advancements in SpaceX's technical methods constantly improving, the concept of a robotic arm may not be anything. Moreover, we have yet to fully grasp the entirety of the Starship's capabilities the cutting-edge vehicle currently capturing the world's attention. It also certainly has the potential to save Hubble. Either way, the Hubble Space Telescope must be saved, or it'll be a great sadness for the space community, and only SpaceX can do this. This is not only a significant achievement for NASA, but it also symbolizes the intricacies and long-term impact on future space exploration, because in the past, no one thought it could succeed to this extent. The eagerly anticipated launch of the Hubble Space Telescope, initially slated for 1983, faced a series of unforeseen challenges, with the most significant setback being the tragic loss of the Space Shuttle Challenger and its crew in 1986. The aftermath of this devastating incident led to the postponement of Hubble's liftoff to the spring of 1990, as rigorous safety measures and upgrades were implemented to ensure the shuttle's reliability. Despite overcoming the challenges of delayed liftoff, Hubble encountered an unexpected hurdle once in orbit. As scientists eagerly turned their gaze to the cosmos, they discovered a flaw that threatened to compromise the telescope's groundbreaking potential. The culprit was identified as a spherical aberration, a condition akin to nearsightedness, where the telescope's primary mirror had been ground to the wrong shape during its construction. This minute error, a mere one-fiftieth the size of a human hair, disrupted the convergence of light rays, preventing Hubble from achieving the anticipated diffraction-limited performance crucial for its groundbreaking research. This has led the leading observatory in the United States to deliver images that are not as sharp as scientists or the media had promised. Back then, NASA's reputation was on the line as the hugely ambitious mission to service the HST and correct its optics got underway. After all, how could the agency be trusted with billions of taxpayer dollars to build its new space station if this was its idea of quality control? Perhaps this view was harsh, yet there was a real danger that the HST might have to be abandoned or scientists accept the degraded capability if the servicing mission did not go to plan. NASA's mission history includes a quote from John Bacall, an astrophysicist who had advocated for the telescope. Bacall told the New York Times in 1993, if the Hubble repair is a failure, we can write off space science for the foreseeable future. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.